the fifth and final stop of the Red Bull X Fighters 2009 World Tour would bring us to London and the amazing Battersea Power Station, where the 20,000 English fans in attendance were treated to a spectacular show of freestyle motocross. Swiss rider Matt Rabot took the course against Robbie Madison, where either of the two riders could take a win on the night and would win the world title. Rabot's riding was spectacular, and Robbie Madison was nervous until this, a flat tire, would cause him to come short on one of the jumps in a terrifying crash. But Rabot would get up and leave on his own two feet to get some medical treatment, which left Madison to advance through the semi-final against Nate Adams, one of the other riders who was in contention for the world title that night. Madison looked good, pulling some huge extensions and some massive tricks. But then, after the big course transfer, his bike would stall, causing him some problems, until he got to the same ramp where Matt Rabot had his crash, and that was enough to let Adams advance. Ego Sato was in a quarterfinal round against Danny Torres. Sato has had an amazing year and advanced out of the first round to pull the hugest tricks we'd seen on the night. Unfortunately, Ego couldn't pull his Lazy Boy backflip, and that was the nail in the coffin that let Torres go through. Brandon Hartley, the 17-year-old from New Zealand, showed just how much fun you can have in an F1 car. Up against the other 17-year-old Kiwi was Danny Torres against Levi Sherwood in the semi-finals. Torres had had a fantastic week in London and was pulling out some amazing riding and incredibly extended tricks. Take a look at this. The Twitch Indian Air to Saran Rep whipped out an unbelievable trick. But even tricks like this, the turndown were not enough to take Torres through and Levi Sherwood would advance through to the finals. Levi Sherwood is the rubber band kid. He has incredible extension and unbelievable flexibility. But maybe the only knock against Sherwood in his two minute finals run was that he pulled too many tricks that were too similar. But Sherwood was claiming it in front of the crowd, hoping to take Adams down. With the win against Robbie Madison in the semifinals, Nate Adams had already claimed the World Series. Here, he pulls one of his signature 360 tricks, the only rider in the field pulling 360s, which the judges would almost certainly reward. But tonight, even Adams was having some troubles, but not on this transfer. Look at the huge knack-knack, and this, the big cliffhanger to stage dive. Not even checking the bars as he comes down to the landing. Adams was a little bit concerned, so it was down to our five judges to make the decision. And their decision? Nate Adams, number one in London. So as the 2009 series wound down, the champagne would fly, and Nate Adams would celebrate a double win at Battersea.